Hey everybody! I hope you've been having a great week. This video is going to be my January favorites. And also, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to do a little share the love for some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, but I'm just going to get right into my January favorites. I do apologize that this video is kind of behind being put up, but my camera broke on Friday and I had to run out and get a new one over the weekend. I've been super busy and this is the first chance I've gotten to um, sit down and actually shoot a video. But I hope you guys enjoy the quality because this camera does have the capability of shooting in HD. So you guys will be seeing a lot better quality videos for me. So that means my tutorials will have a lot more detail. You'll be able to see a lot more. And I'm really looking forward to putting out some better videos for you guys. But I'm going to get right into my January favorites. I was pretty sick for the past like two weeks. Um, I don't know what it was, just going, I guess just something going around and it being cold. I got sick and I was not into doing my makeup, but I looked like crap. And my best friend was my Clinique Even Better. And it's actually, the writing is rubbed off at the top. I've ordered a new bottle from Sephora. So once that's done, it's probably got a use left. I'll break this puppy out. And I am in the color 06 Honey. But I love this foundation. Um, yeah, I've always used Clinique foundation since I started wearing makeup back in like... Uh, I started wearing makeup in middle school, but I started wearing foundation and actually paying attention to that type of stuff in high school. And I've always loved Clinique. This stuff is amazing. It does have an SPF in it, but I just find like my pictures really do come out more true to color than even my um, Makeup Forever HD. That has no SPF and it gives me more of a white cast. So I really like this Clinique even better. If you're in the market for a new foundation, try this out. I've gone back to it and I love it. Of course, I love my Makeup Forever Kabuki brush. This thing stays in my purse. I really need to wash my brushes, but I love this thing. And I'm actually thinking I might even get a backup of it because I love it so much. I don't want to be without it. Love this Kabuki. Of course, my Naked 2 palette. Love this thing. Um, I really haven't, like I said, in the past two weeks I haven't worn too much makeup, but when I was wearing it, I've been wearing this same, like, eye combo, and it's YDK, Suspect, and a little bit of Snake Bite, and then I really like Booty Call as a highlight, and then sometimes if I think it's, like, too much shimmer, I'll use Foxy because it's, like, a matte cream color, and this palette is awesome. I hope I wasn't blinding you too much if the light got in the mirror. I hope it wasn't blinding you. But this palette is awesome. I love the packaging. It hasn't gotten, I thought it might get like scratched up or something like with keys in my purse. It hasn't yet, thankfully. And I just throw it right in there. But I love this palette. It's a really, really good palette. For, I have like all of my favorites in my little container that I've collected. So I wanted to make sure that I told you guys about all the good stuff I've been using. Um, I guess I'll go to nail polish. Pretty much the whole month of January, I've had Senorita, Senorita Rosalita on my toes, and it's so gorgeous. I love this color. And Neo Whimsical, I put this on pretty much right after New Year's. I love this color. As soon as New Year's Eve hits and New Year's Day, it's pretty much spring for me again in Florida, so I start pulling out like all my light pastel colors. So, of course, I also had to wear my Pink Friday because that came out this month, the Opie and Nicki Minaj colors. And then I know I'll probably get a ton of questions about what's on my nails now. And it's actually OPI's, uh, I think it's called Dulce, Dulce Liche. And on top of that, like just as like the rose gold tips, are the Essie, they're called Lux Effects. And I just put them only on the tips of my nails to kind of make it look like I dipped my fingernails in like rose gold. And I've gotten so many compliments on them. The only thing I don't like about it is I can tell it's already going to chip. And I painted these yesterday. But you have to put it so thick to get opaqueness in the glitter that it's really, really like thick right here. Like my nails are really thick at the tips. So they're going to start peeling soon. But I thought it was cute. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. So here's a better shot of the nails. Every time I zoom in though, it does not... Focus. Keeping with the rose gold theme, I have my Tarte Lock and Roll Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. This is awesome. I used this in my last video for my eyes. 
My go-to mascara combo are Stila Forever Your Curl and the Urban Decay Super Curling Cur Super Curl Curling Mascara. And I got both of these in the last lash stash from Sephora for Christmas. And I was kind of sad because a bunch of the mascaras were dried out, but these weren't, neither was the Hourglass or the Josie Marin, and I've loved all of them. But these two are my absolute favorite. I've also been enjoying my um, eye tattoo 24 hour eyeshadow base in Toughest Taupe. And this is from Maybelline. And it's really, really pretty. It's more of like a gray than like a purpley gray taupe color, but I still really like it. I don't have anything else like that in my collection. And then I've also liked the Stila Prime Pot, and it's in the color Caramel. And it's more to my skin tone than Max Painterly Paint Pot or Soft Ochre. They're just way too light. So the Caramel it works really well with my skin tone being a little more caramel and tan. For eyeshadow, I've been enjoying my Satin Taupe from MAC. And it plays really well with those same colors that I've been using on my eyes. And I love it with this Sweet Sienna pigment. And this is just the sample that I have. But it's just such a pretty color. And I want to show it to you guys. Hopefully it won't spill out. But it's very similar. Ooh, I don't want it to spill. It reminds me of like pencil shavings with a little bit of gold shimmer in there. It's really, really pretty. And I love this color. For blush, I've been using this pretty much all month and all of December too. It's Ambering Rose. And I just really like, I'm really into gold for some reason. So a lot of these have like gold undertones, like the Senorita Rosalita nail polish, the Sweet Sienna. A ton of them have like gold undertones, and I really like this blush because it plays well with it. Of course, my Corez Pomegranate Primer. Love this stuff. I haven't had to purchase a big size yet. I haven't really even finished my sample that I got of it. And um, yeah. I, this stuff is good to go, but I love all that. So not too much for my monthly favorites, product-wise. So for Share the Love this month, I just pulled together like five of my favorite YouTubers, and I will list all their information in the below bar so you guys can check out their channels if you're not already subscribed to them. Most of these girls um, are pretty popular, though, so I'm assuming most of you have heard of them. So in no particular order, I just jotted them down real quick. Jenna Marbles is one of my favorite YouTubers. I think her videos are hilarious. I look forward to Wednesdays when she posts new videos because she is just, she is out there and I love her just sense of humor. She's crazy and I love that she just doesn't care what anybody thinks. She's going to make videos that, you know, she thinks are funny and I just really dig her personality. She's hilarious. Um, I also really like these next two YouTubers, I love their tutorials. It's Crystal Rain and Let76. Crystal Rain, I could watch her put on makeup all day. She does a lot of looks um, with a lot of color and sparkle, and even if it's something I might not wear, I'll still watch the video because I just love watching her put on makeup. She also does a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of tutorials with airbrush makeup, and I just really like to watch her techniques, and I really enjoy her videos. Let76, she's new, um, or I'm new to her channel, I should say, and I love her tutorials. She does them in fast motion, and just watching her put on makeup, I don't know, she just puts it on so effortlessly. She has amazing skin. She just looks gorgeous. The most gorgeous, like, poreless skin. So jealous. Last video, they were doing, like, a Sephora haul, and she was talking about learning about some of the products at work. So I really like that, you know, if I have maybe a question or something that I'm not too sure about, I can just go to her channel if it's something that she's subscribed or if it's something that she's recommended, I totally, you know, just agree with everything she says. <laughs> so um, I love those two YouTubers. Carly Chrisman and HRH Collection, those two girls, I love their fashion videos and their outfit of the days. I also love Alex from HRH Collection, her like style for her home. She also has a blog and some of her more recent posts are about her new loft and kind of how she's designing it or decorating it and stuff like that. And I'm really interested in like redecorating and just organization and stuff like that anyway. So I find myself like checking her blog all the time. 
So if you guys aren't subscribed to any of them, like I said, I'll list all their information in the below bar. Check out their channels and subscribe to these wonderful ladies because if you enjoy my channel, I can almost guarantee that you'll enjoy theirs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out my Facebook. I will link that below as well as my blog. I know it's just like a Tumblr, but I post a lot on there. And if you guys are interested in kind of what I'm doing when I'm not posting videos, that's the best way to kind of find out what I'm doing. Ask me questions, put in requests, whatever you guys want to do. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!